Hello Aaron here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do barrows as an Iron Man. All the skill requirements to start barrels. First off, you need prayer potions. In order to receive prayer potions as an Iron Man, to collect rain, is to collect Raynard weeds and snake grass, which to make prayer potions requires 38 horde lore as well. You see here. Now, first off, again, you're going to need to know the locations for best herb drops. It would either be the Edgeville Dungeon in the wild, which is good with a looting bag, but 9 times out of 10 PKers will kill you, so I do not suggest that location. And they would steal all your Raynars. Yeah, you have 30 minutes to go back to it, but I did it for about two weeks and each each day I at least got PK three times which it's not worth it because I probably lost over 100 Raynars just off of PKs so I highly do not recommend it you know and other locations such as Chaos Druids west of Fal east of Falador I mean my bad uh, there are Chaos Druids in the dungeon that's another good way but it is a little bit of a walk but if you have uh, fairy tale teleportation using the uh, Draman staff is that's probably one of the best just teleport you know back and forth and out to uh, the fairy tale bank okay so so let's see here first thing you want to do is go ahead and you can mage them with firebolt you know that's a good way but I highly recommend using a slayer staff which requires 55 slayer with 50 magic so let's see here and also if you can get your best magic gear I know it's really hard as Iron Man to get magic gear I'm not gonna get a uh, magic top though I'm gonna use this for the prayer bonus Good way to help your prayer, especially fighting uh, Darox because, you know, you run out of prayer at the end there. He can really hit you when he's low. So let's see here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to bank this. I don't know why I have a staff. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my death runes. I'm going to get my mind runes. And I'm going to get my prayer potions. You can probably do about two trips, depending on, you know, how good you hit, you know, with six prayer potions. But today I'm only going to bring four. See how I do then. I'm going to get my food. Get a ring of duel in first, you know, just in case I teleport out. Let's see here. Boots. I'm not going to bring boots, really. What am I going to get? Let's see here. Let's see if I have my magic gammy here. Oh wow, I must have lost that. Okay. Gotta get my food. <clears throat> 51 deaths. You know, that should be good enough. Now, if you're high enough and you have, you well, you should have, uh, bring a dragon dagger for special attack and, uh, just in case you run do run out of runes, you you want some backup, so go ahead and uh, get Dragon Skimitar. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do, the best method I use personally is the fairy rings because I just feel like it's the fastest teleportation method and the fastest way to get to the barrows place. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget your spade. Huh. <clears throat> if you do forget your spade, it's alright. There's going to be more uh, at the Barrow's location before you get there. So honestly, forget the spade. And just in case I mean, you have the ghost trying to, you know, whore by your food, you'll have inventory room. So just wait to get the spade till you get there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, make sure I have all my gear. I don't have a cape or anything. I'm just going to bring this, okay? I know. I'm saying, whoa, why are you bringing that for? But, yeah. Well, 
I guess I can bring my strength enemy. Bring my strength enemy. Now, <clears throat> this is optional. You can still, uh, this is very optional. You can bring range equipment if you have it. But I just use this to uh, kill the, uh, the mage barrow. So I just find it faster. Let's bring one chest, you know, some vamps, and that's all I bring, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and head over to uh, my fairy ring. Well, see you there soon. Okay, so you can see that now that we're at Castle Wars. Um, see, you can see now that I just realized I lost prayer. So what I'm going to do, see, usually I can teleport here and go up to the fairy ring that's... Uh, North uh, west of Yanel, but I use the fair ring there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Lumbridge just so I can reset my prayer because construction is not high enough to home teleport yet. I'll get there eventually, but it's highly recommended to get that 50 construction in and get your prayer altar. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pray, make sure I have my drumming staff equipped, I'm going to go over here and Go to the fairy place. One second. Okay, now that I'm at the fairy place, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the fairy ring, which is located southwest <coughs> of the wheat field. Uh, just to make things faster, I'm gonna go get some prayer, I mean energy potions real quick, just so I can run fast. Try to have energy here so you can just run straight past the ghost and everything. But be right back. Okay, now that I got my energy built up here, what I'm gonna do is use the fairy ring and teleport. No, well my map's messing up. But the location is going to be B, K, and R. So location will teleport me to the campus swamps. And from here I'm going to run straight southwest. All the way straight southwest. Oop, accidentally turned off run there. <clears throat> Keep going southwest. Da, 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 da. So you pretty much want to keep going southwest until you know near the lake here, because keep going down. Eventually, this side's going to be blocked off over here. And you're going to take this. See, I got two rotten foods. That's perfect. Well, not really. One would have been nice, but now I'm going to go uh, run over here. Now you can wait, you know, and especially if you're a little lower level. Save your run for up ahead because you'll be attacked by <clears throat> zombies or specters. So just wait. Yeah, I'm going to pause it for a second. I'll tell you when I'm there. Okay, now when you finally done with that, drew some long mage there. I'm gonna head over here. I'm gonna go run a little bit southeast. Now these afflicteds might attack you if you're a little low level. Uh, I'm 83, and none of these attack me. Neither does the lower shadows, but all depending on your level. <clears throat> While I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Make sure my magic dart is on autocast. And the honest fastest route would be this guy from where we just were. And we can, from uh, where we use the fairy tale ring, we can just go south, uh, east, and then there's a boat up the hill. But in order to use the boat, you have to complete a quest. So. 
I might get that soon and show you all that method a little later. But for now, I'll show you the long method because most Iron Men don't know what to do. And I will watch they don't know what to do and just don't have quests completed in this area. Which I'm not a big quest in myself, but I do got 109, which is alright. Okay, now, if you forgot your spade or you decided not to bring one because you knew the ghost was going to rot your food or whatnot, there's two spades located in the shed here. So just go ahead and grab one. <clears throat> First, I like to start off with Darrow. So let me go ahead and go to Darrock, which he is the most north uh, east hill over here. Okay, now once you have your spade, just go on top of the hill. Go ahead and get your prayer ready. I, I suggest quick prayer, which I already have it activated. Go in here, turn it on. <clears throat> and again, killing them. Now, Slayer Dark is really effective, mainly because it's magic spell used for the undead. So, it's a very, very good spell. I believe, depending on your magic level, which I'm 63, the highest I hit right now is 16. And the gear could upgrade it a little bit too, but for now, just 16 is the max. So 10, go ahead, turn off your prayer, walk out of here, try to conserve your prayer. And you'll see up here in this little corner, Darrock, check mark. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how to kill uh, a Rims with range. So just make sure you have your range equipped, rapid. Uh, go ahead and get ready to protect from mage. So let me go ahead and dig and get ready. Go ahead and click it. Oh, sweet. You get to kill him under the sewers. Okay, sweet. <clears throat> now, since we don't have that much prayer, I don't want to go for a Varrock. I want to use my prayer as much as possible because Varrock can hit through it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, which is the most southwest corner and I believe this one is Torax. So another melee one. Okay, get ready. Oh, you gotta put on my stuff. Look at me here guys. Messing up already. Messing up on my own god. Alright, now we're killing Torax here. <coughs> And make sure you watch your prayer. Once it gets to a certain point, <clears throat> if it drops significantly because you're underground, it'll stay at one for a little bit, but just keep watching it. And then once it's at one, drink your prayer potion. See zero? I drink your prayer potion. Oh, you got me right there. You got me. If you're fast enough, you can do it. Just drink a potion. Hurry up and drink, and they'll keep your prayer on. You won't have to turn it back on. Nope. Got him right there. Turn off prayer. Run out of here. Try to save as much prayer as possible. Let's go ahead and go over here to Brock. Or some people pronounce it Derek Barrick. Brock. Go ahead and get ready. Go ahead and protect from melee. See I'm at five. Watch it, watch it. Make sure you don't see to four, three, two. Go ahead and drink it. Oh, see, eleven. Yep. Should have waited a little bit. Because <clears throat> you're really trying to conserve your prayer potion, so try try to you know, if you're really trying to conserve unless you don't collect it a thousand or so, you don't really care. Just try to keep it, you know, conserve. See zero. I'm gonna see. I got food with me, so I'm gonna try to tank it a little bit. Need some food, just so I don't have to waste my drinks. Uh, 
Oh wow, really? I'm getting lucky. There we go. See, since I tanked it now, I didn't have to drink a potion. I can save it for the next guy. <clears throat> now, I do not suggest tanking Derek. Just to let you know. <laughs> do not tank Derek. <laughs> There's background noise. I better do apologize. I have an alcoholic roommate. Now, this is Carl's. He, he's a ranger. Uh, I don't suggest using range on him. Mage would do just fine. So just go ahead and drink that potion. Go ahead and get ready for him. As you can see, I ran out of death runes, which that sucks, but I'm going to go ahead and melee him now. I'm going to go ahead and drink that. That scared me there a little bit. <clears throat> which I am not hitting on him. All right, there we go. After a long little battle with my D skin, finally killed him. Next, I'm gonna go to Guthins. Go ahead and heal up. Do some damage to me there. Go ahead and do the same thing. Just get ready. Drink your potion. Take the melee. And there we go. Well, okay, guys, I had to go get more death runes. <clears throat> it's the only thing about Iron Man. Make sure you bring enough supplies. Also, at this combat level right here, I do not hit anything with melee on them. <laughs> and I'll be returning to Guthans, and I'll see you soon. All right, everyone, I'm back. That was a very long walk. Anyways, back to the guide. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is go back over here to Barrows. Don't worry if you ever do leave and you're not sure all your kills will stay. I don't know how long over a period of time, but watch as I go back in here. As you can see, still killed Varric, I killed Torag, Carl's, and Derek still. And now I'm back to Guthans. So go ahead and activate your prayer and then continue. And don't forget to have spell auto attack here I'm gonna keep on killing them and be like boom and I'm gonna be like shula boom and then I'm gonna be like shakalaka like a boom boom yeah and boom all right move on <clears throat> from now I went back so I prayed at Lumbridge again so I'm not going to have to worry about prayers, so I just kept my two prayer potions. Because eventually this is going to go down since I'm on my second from last kill. So I not really care about this. So what I'm going to do is, since the rim is the dungeon I need to go into, I'm going to go here back in the middle. <clears throat> click the coffin. Click continue. You're going to select, yeah, I'm fearless, yeah. And from here, you're going to go on, and you see some doors won't let you open, and you just got to follow the path until you meet the middle. Just keep going. You're going to get attacked. That's why you bring the food. I know what you're wondering. Oh, why would I uh, bring food if I'm just going to pray the whole time? Well, these little assholes here are going to keep attacking you so you're gonna get low on HP by the time now I remind you each door you go through a, a monster pops up chance it to be a rim so I'll look perfect timing so what I'm gonna do now is hurry up and eat up get my prayer potion protect from mage I'm gonna go ahead 
I'm gonna try to melee this mother wall wall ho. See, I'm getting low on prayer, I'm gonna have him drink one. I'm gonna just add all attack him once. Probably not gonna hit nothing, like I said earlier. Go ahead and get my room crossbow on. Get low on that. Now some people suggest your kill count over here, see. They say get at least nine, but I don't do that. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't think the kill count affects anything. So I wouldn't worry about the kill count as an Iron Man. Now I'm getting on a little prayer again. See, if you don't have good range gear, it's good just to stick with the, uh, the Slayer Dart. and works best on the rims as well. I just like showing off my rune crossbows off. Which you can get from the crazy archaeologist in the wild, which I'll show you a guide for that too here later on. But this is my first bid. So, like I'm gonna say, I, I do like tanking a bit near here, there, but you know, I got good mage protection plus dehyde body, so I should be good. Yep, okay, I go ahead and pick up my bolts. If you have an Avery's accumulator, you can bring that too, but I just think it takes up too much space. Alright, here we go. We're here at the middle. I'm just going to go ahead and kill this guy just to get 7 kill count. Hey, why not? Plus, it's annoying the shit out of me. I'm trying to open this door here. Now, there's different different mazes and puzzles you got to click, like that one just there. So, I'm going to click this one. See that you hear the doors locking back some grind. Now, if you look on a website, you should, like Rune HQ, you should be able to see which one's which. So I'll put it in the guide. Oh, as we see, we got nothing. We just got more cast spells, which is good. I'm not complaining. And a little bit of coins, but at least I don't have to go buy more cast moons, right? <laughs> Alright. Now, if you have enough prayer potions and stuff, you can run out of here if you want to go back backtrack. Or if you need a restock, just go ahead and teleport out, which I'm going to go ahead and teleport out using my Ring of Dawn, Castle Wars. You got a bank here. And then from here, like I suggested, say you have a full, you get your inventory ready again. Go ahead and come this way here. Which then again, yeah, prayer potions, but say you have full prayer here. And you don't care about wasting prayer poison, just drink it or something. Right over here. Pass all the ogres. <clears throat> Make sure you still have your drama staff on you. And just head over north uh, east over here, which is the anals over here, and this is the no maze. But you can go ahead and use the fairy ring here, and I'll teleport you back to the fairy world thing, whatever. And from here, you can go back to Barrows. Thank you very much. This has been a good guide. At least I hope so. This is my first guide, so thank you very much, and have a good day. Yeah.